Let's have a look at the new data field editor. This is probably the most exciting feature of all. At first glance, you'll notice that the data field editor is significantly bigger. So you have more space to write whichever logic you want. Also, we have access to a few really cool features that will help you be more productive and more precise whenever you're creating apps. The first thing is auto suggest. Whenever you choose any of these values here that we have access to, like F for forms or R for requests, you're going to see that we're going to get suggestions for our request names. Let's say in our case, we wanted to get all sessions. And if I use dot, you're going to see again, all of the properties that this object is having. So we can get the data from our requests. We can get the request status or we can check whether the request was successful or not with the new request OK property. Also, all of our logic is now going to be color coded. So if we're using a string, it's going to be red. If we're declaring a variable, it's going to be blue. Or if we're using any of these function parameters over here, they're going to be black. But besides color coding and auto suggest, you'll have access to a lot of features that you would have in VS Code. So for example, let's say we wanted to write our text on a few lines, we can select with alt a few lines and write simultaneously on multiple lines. We can also use find and replace functionality. Let's say we wanted to change our R create user request with another request. All we have to do is select the value hit Control or Command F and simply replace the value with another value. And just like that, with one click, we can replace all of the values. Now here, we're merely scratching the surface of the new data field editor. Within the next few videos, we're gonna dive deeper and we'll cover a lot of these parameters over here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.